Welcome to a conflict news 24 there's some updates for you on the ongoing conflict in eastern congo where opposition armed group m23 is advancing towards goma city in north kivu province of congo firstly mohuzi kane rogaba ugandan president's son a general a few minutes ago asked m23 fighters to withdraw from newly captured territories Secondly, uh, M23 fighter spokesperson Lawrence Kanyuka uh, a few minutes ago spoke and he said that uh, Congo's government did not want peace. Uh, he confirmed new attack on M23 positions near Kibumba. Uh, it seems that m23 was asked by some mediators to stop the war to stop the fighting that is why lawrence kanyuka uh, perhaps said that congo's government did not want peace details for you uh, thirdly we have details for you about front lines uh, resumption of fighting in kibumba since this morning And lastly, Kenyan President William Ruto is due to arrive in Congo uh, in coming hours. Firstly, viewers, uh, Mahuzi Kanirugaba is a general of Ugandan military. He is Yuvari Museveni, Ugandan president's son. Um, he is the next president of Uganda, uh, and he runs Ugandan foreign policy. Very vocal, sometimes irresponsible too. Uh, a few days ago he spoke about uh, m23 fighters he said m23 fighters uh, were his brothers and once again today he spoke about uh, the conflict in eastern congo he said uh, i have heard my brother huru kenyata a former kenyan president and uh, paul kagame my uncle uh, rwandan a president uh, have asked m23 fighters to withdraw from recently captured territories i agree with my bosses so mohuzi kenrogaba is asking m23 fighters to withdraw from newly captured territories he further said that people should not mock m23 fighters no one can defeat them Uh, but m23 movement wants peace and uh, if uh, uh, we can convince them uh, they'll listen to us and they'll withdraw so that is what mozi kani rogaba said uh, two days ago kenyan former kenyan president facilitator for the conflict in eastern congo Facilitated to find a solution, Huru Kenyatta held telephonic discussions with Paul Kagame, Rwandan president. Uh, uh, he visited uh, Congo too. After that, he called Paul Kagame. He called Burundi's president, uh, Congolese president, and UN Secretary General. And after that, he issued a statement. He said that Paul Kagame had agreed that. Uh, uh regional players should urge m23 to stop their military advance and to retreat from uh to withdraw from newly uh, captured territories it means that uganda and rwanda which are uh, allegedly supporters of m23 fighters are now asking m23 fighters to stop their military offensive uh, and withdraw from newly captured territories question is are these just verbal statements or uganda and rwanda sincerely want uh, m23 to stop its military offensive towards com this is the most important question yes rwanda can play a key role uganda as well if they put pressure upon m23 M23 will have to listen to Rwanda Uganda because no group can operate in isolation US West are already uh, putting pressure upon M23 fighters yesterday in a statement uh, US UK Belgium France in a joint statement condemned M23 fighters advance towards Goma they asked M23 to withdraw from newly taken areas and to be part of peace talks uh, Uh, if uh, rwanda and uganda sincerely join uh, 
in the call uh, upon M23 to stop the military offensive, it can have some results. We'll have to wait and see how sincere Rwanda and Uganda are. That remains to be seen. Secondly, uh, M23 movement spokesperson Lawrence Kanyoka spoke a few minutes ago. He said, uh, Congolese government does not want peace and is currently attacking our positions uh, near Kebumba. Uh, M23, FDLR, Nayutra, SCPLS, and Maimai are attacking our positions in Kebumba. Why is he saying that uh, Congolese government does not want peace uh, and uh, the government is attacking our positions? Of course, government forces uh, and uh, allied forces will attack uh, M23 positions. It, it, it means that there was some sort of understanding in the last one or two days between M23 and some mediators that the war, the fighting should end. A new offensive being launched by FARDC on M23 positions in Kibumba is being seen as a violation of this understanding. Maybe reached unofficially between M23 and uh, mediators, Uro Kenyatta, Paul Kagame and Uganda. It seems there was some sort of understanding. That is why Loris Kanyoka says that uh, uh, Congolese government does not want peace. Congolese government wants M23 to withdraw from all captured areas in Ratchoro and others. Uh, Kivanja, uh, Buragna, uh, Ratchoro city, uh, Ratchoro center, uh, Rugari, uh, parts of uh, Kebumba groupings, Bahumba. FARDC wants complete withdrawal of M23 fighters from all these places before start of talks, uh, before any ceasefire perhaps in Eastern Congo. That is why FARDC and other groups like FDLR, Rwandan opposition group and others, they'll keep on attacking uh, M23 positions uh, in Eastern Congo. Thirdly, uh, Loris uh, Kenioka confirmed that uh, Roman Gabo is still under M23 control. Roman Gabo situated to the north of uh, Kebomba, to the north of Rugari, was taken by M23 fighters a few weeks ago. Since yesterday, since day before yesterday, rumors are being spread that uh, M23 fighters uh, have retreated from Roman Gabo. But Lawrence Kanioka says that M23 fighters are still in Roman Gabo. All social media rumors are false. And thirdly, he shared a video from Ratshoro. Uh, government uh, sources, government back news sources claim there is panic in the areas uh, under M23 control. People are fleeing the areas. But Lawrence Kanyoka shared a video from Ratshoro. He, he, he said that everything was going about, uh, everything was uh, normal. People were going about their routine work. Uh, people were uh, calm. Uh, everything was peaceful in the areas under uh, M23 control. All claims about panic in uh, M23 control areas is just a lie, a propaganda launched by Congolese government. What the video shared by Loris Kanyoka uh, from Ratshoro, where people can be seen involved in some community activities. Thirdly, viewers, uh, uh, intense fighting is being reported since this morning in Kebumba groupings near Kebumba as well. Uh, we know that around two days ago, M23 fighters uh, advanced from Rugari towards Kebumba. They entered Kebumba, Bahumba as well. And in a statement, M23 claimed full control of Kebumba, Bahumba, and other uh, four other uh, areas nearby, but uh, around 48 hours ago, FARDC uh, 
uh, and other forces, FDLR, uh, other forces, they launched a counter-offensive M-23 fighters, uh, artillery was involved, gunship helicopters were involved, and two Sikhoi Su-25 fighter jets of Congolese Air Force were involved too. So, M-23 fighters advance uh, in Kebumba towards Goma was checked. Front line is still near Kebumba. Kebumba is disputed. We cannot say which party is in full control of Kebumba, FARDC or M23. There is ongoing fighting in Kebumba. Uh, main front line is Kebumba. Uh, though we know that uh, they are uh, M23 fighters, they are trying to advance towards areas to the west of Goma city as well. But main front line is uh, 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 Kebumba and uh, here intense fighting ongoing uh, since this morning. Lastly, William Ruto, newly elected Kenyan president, is due to arrive in Congo in coming hours. Uh, one day visit where uh, bilateral uh, ties, bilateral talks will be held. The security situation in Eastern Congo will also come under discussion. Uh, a very uh, effective uh, or you can say very proactive regional effort is being made to put an end to crisis in Eastern Congo. Why? Because if there is no diplomatic solution, neighboring countries will have to be involved militarily to stop M23 fighters as they have agreed. EAC countries have agreed that they'll launch a military offensive to stop M23 fighters uh, from taking control of territories in Eastern, Eastern uh, Congo. Uh, and uh, if talks fail, if, if diplomacy fails, if Kenyatta, uh, Luanda, uh, other diplomacies fail, what will happen? Uh, Rwanda, uh, Kenya, Uganda, Burundi, uh, maybe Angola as well, uh, uh, they'll have to find uh, a solution. And option uh, would be military solution. So, especially East Africa community countries, they want to avoid start of military campaign against M23 fighters. ESC troops are just in Goma. They are not fighting against M23 fighters on front lines. They want to avoid direct military confrontation with M23. That is why diplomatic efforts are underway in coming days. Day's talks going to start in Luanda in Nairobi, Kenya. We'll keep you updated, viewers. Thank you for watching.